My name is Malik Rahim. I'm, a, I'm from New Orleans. I was born and raised in a in a section of New Orleans called Algiers, which is really the oldest section of New Orleans. It was founded in 1719. Uh, but the first slayers was brought there in 1722. And so ever since then, it have always been an African presence in Algiers. The name came from a French dignitary who came over in the latter parts of the 17 or the 1800s. I can't remember exactly what one it was. But uh, he said that it reminded him of Algiers, the river, the crossing, uh, even uh, the selling of human flesh. You know, so uh, that's how uh, we got our name. And there's many sections of New Orleans that have that African name. Sadly to say, our prison is also in Angola. Named after, because the majority of the slaves that's in that area came from our, uh, Angola. We have a place in New Orleans we call Congo Square. Because uh, uh, most of the slaves that came in, in that period was from the Congo. Uh, some people say we speak with a, with a Niger Congo accent. And that if we have a history, our history, you know, if there's an African presence in America, it would be New Orleans because of our history and our culture. I'm saying that uh, to say why is it so important for us to preserve our communities, our way of life. Uh, it have brought us through our every trial and tribulation that we have been through, from slavery to uh, Reconstruction to Jim Crowism to uh, the the different drug addictions that have been forced upon us, whether it's been uh, alcoholism, heroin addiction, or cocaine addiction. You know, we have persevered, and that's because of our uh, ability to develop that mechanism by living together, you know, that have taken us, you know, through all these hardships. New Orleans African American community is probably one of the oldest communities in America. We have people that can go back 100, 150 years. We have faith-based institutions within our community. And that was established in the uh, late 1860s. Uh, you know, and many of the old stables was established during the Reconstruction period of the 18 from 1865 to 1878. So we have that rich history, that rich background, that anchor. And now it's under attack. Uh, Katrina, with all his faults, I believe was a wake up call, first to us as African Americans, but then to America, you know, that we have to change that we can no longer uh, be 5% of the world's population, utilizing almost 30% of the world resources, causing maybe 40% of the world pollution, and expect no consequences.